Hello, Doctor. Hello. Welcome to our channel, Healthy Gyan. Uh, doctor, what is stem cell and how does it function? Uh, in fact, your channel of Healthy Gyan is giving a good opportunity too for the people to understand what is the newer coming in stem cells. Thank you so much. That's a good opportunity to educate the people from your channel. Uh, when you talk of a stem cell, uh, what is it you want to know means it's a kind of a living molecule okay. uh, which could be used to treat the patients compared to non-living molecules. What we conventionally used are the non-living pharma pharmacological molecules okay. which doesn't have a life. Mm -hmm. And when we talk of stem cell or a cell-based therapy, it's a wide spectrum. Basically, it's a very wide spectrum. It mm -hmm. starts not only a cell. It has got its own products also, which we call medical signaling cells. Okay. They signal the molecules which can treat you completely, depending on the environment. That's why I call them a living drug, basically. These are the living drugs. Mm. And they sense your body, basically, what's going wrong in the cells. Mm. If any organ is functioning wrong, these cells will go there. Whether there is an inflammation, whether there is an autoimmune reaction taking place, mm. whether the reaction takes place, these cells will go there. They change the atmosphere what is the environment, what is required for the cells to function and make the organ functionally more better. So we are treating at the root cause, not at the signs and symptoms. These stem cells are not only cells, they are the medical signaling cells of your body. And entire multiple diseases are there which can be used for this. What diseases can be treated through stem cell therapy? Uh, if you list the number of diseases, if you talk, the more important the diseases which cannot be treated by conventional methods. Mm -hmm. When we talk of conventional methods, today what we are practicing, the science which we have been practicing for the last 20 years, there are a number of conditions which we cannot treat today. I call it to be a health crisis. Normally in my terms, I call it to be a health crisis. This health crisis does it mean the diseases which are not treatable by today's existing medical practice. So mm -hmm. we list them like if you talk them, we have a cancers on the top list. Mm -hmm. We cannot treat by conventional methods like neither chemotherapy nor radiotherapy can treat them, nor surgery can treat. Patient ultimately comes with a cancer. After all treatment, he dies. Yeah. Diabetes, medical disorders cannot be treated by conventional methods. Patient once gone on insulin, mm -hmm. he will end up the life with the complications of insulin and complications of diabetes. Similarly, cardiac diseases are there. IAD, uh, IAD, Myopathies are there, then muscular diseases are there, like dystrophies or DMD is there, mm. which cannot be treated. The genetic diseases, we call them as genetic diseases, like sickle cell anemia, thalassemia, muscular dystrophies, we cannot treat them okay. with the conventional methods. So there are diseases like orthopedic diseases, hip joint, knee joint, where we go for the replacement today, and the patient suffers for the whole life after once replacement is done. In such cases, we can save the joint. We should run a campaign that we should save a joint because joints are the parts of the locomotor system of the body which keep you fit and fine to run. Yeah. And there is no conventional method apart from little of joint we can do anything for that because the aging person. Like aging is neurological disease, there Parkinson's is there, Alzheimer's is there, cerebral palsy, the developmental problems are there, autism is there. There are a number of conditions of that kind which cannot be treated today and we leave patient at their mercy to die which is very painful. So I look for those conditions which are not treatable by conventional methods like diabetes I mentioned you, Parkinson I mentioned you, Alzheimer's I mentioned you, cerebral palsy I mentioned you, then ankylosing spondylitis you can add it in it. Mm -hmm. Rheumatoid arthritis you can add it like autoimmune disease like multiple sclerosis. Type 1 diabetes is the biggest problem with small children. These are the number of hundreds of diseases are there which can be treated using stem cell therapy or cell based therapies. The cell-based therapy is a broad spectrum, stem cells, adult cells, and specialty cells. All these cells together, they come out of an epilogue to use as a treatment. In the first question I explained you, yeah. these are the living drugs, and they can be used. Almost a number of conditions which I enumerated, and that to give a comfortable quality life to the patients. Where otherwise, the conventional method, we would ask them to live and die. Uh, doctor, I would like to know about the age group. Is there any specific or particular age groups that uh, are getting treatment from the stem cell? Now, when you talk of the age group, uh, age group starts from a newborn baby to the aging person of 100 year old. Okay. The reason is that the disease is related to the process of development of the baby or degeneration has taken place. Mm -hmm. 
So it could happen to any age. While baby is taking a birth, like cerebral palsy, autistic children, or defects in the development, there's a group which this can be treated. Then there's a process of degeneration because of infection, trauma, injury, or cancer taking place, mutational changes that can take place of any age, mm -hmm. from a younger age to the middle age. Okay. And later on, naturally your stem cells are going down. So aging disease come in picture, mm -hmm. like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's. These are aging diseases which are the global burden today. Yeah. So these are these also can be treated. So the spectrum is very wide. There is neither a ratio of sex, uh, neither is a ratio to select a male or female also. So it can be applied in respect of the sexual conditions, whether it is a male or female, mm -hmm. or otherwise age from a newborn. I told you like the process of adolescence, the process of getting into a mature age of mature adult, and the aging process. The diseases which range in this disease because of specific causes. I told you developmental degenerations which can lead to disability of the people or mutational changes or autoimmune changes in the body taking place. Those can take place of any age. So there is no age barrier. What differs in the child and adult and aging person is that the number of cells and the type of cells will change. In a pediatric small children, they are already full of stem cells ratio will be differing in types of cells. You should know personalized, I call them as the personalized protocols, customized personalized therapies. When a child comes, there's a different therapy of the same disease. When an adult comes, the same disease, there's a different therapy for them. So I call them personalized customized therapies. So no age is barrier depending on the disease which takes place with specific cause I told you. Aging is more important because there we want to see people age happily, not getting illnesses of getting into hospital that I call them a gracious aging I call them the aging which goes gracious that can be done by using stem cells we can avoid aging disease there and pediatric we need that because the children are born and the entire life is front of them yes. so we need to take care of those children also by stem cells so that the future of them is guarded so there is no barrier on the, neither the selection of the patient for the sex ratio nor the age ratio Doctor, if the tray patient is coming to you and uh, I wanted to know how is the treatment? Is the single treatment or they have to come for the follow-ups? Yeah, it's a nice question because people should understand it's not a one-time treatment for every disease. Hmm. There are diseases which can be treated in one time. There are diseases which require three treatments, four treatments or follow-up treatments you require. Because aging is a process, degeneration hmm. is a process, you cannot stop that. Hmm. So lifestyle management is one part of it like. And second part, using cells to maintain the improve. So there are diseases in which you require one-time treatment and little lifestyle modifications will maintain the person lifetime. But there are conditions in developmental conditions like cerebral palsy. You may require three, four settings yes. to bring the child to the liver or the liver. autistic children. We require multiple treatments. Mm -hmm. So there are conditions where diabetes, you may not require multiple treatments. One or two treatments sufficient. The hip joints, you may require one or two treatments. So it's a selection of your choice, like how you select the patient. What is the stage of degeneration? What is the stage of disease? Mm -hmm. And what is the age of the patient is equally important. The aging patient may require more treatments. The younger patients may require one treatment. Mm -hmm. So it's, as I told you very well in the earlier question, it is a customized, personalized treatment. Mm -hmm. The treatment which is customized for you, designed for you, and depending on your disease, which organ is treated. So it varies depending on one setting or two settings or three settings or even boosted doses to maintain the improvement. So it's a customized personal treatment depending on case to case. We decide on the disease, age and the morbid conditions. Like if you are treating a hip joint mm -hmm. and patient is obese. Mm -hmm. So we have to make a protocol to cover up all the points. So you may require multiple settings in these kind of patients. Mm -hmm. So it depends on that like. So we may require single setting or a multiple setting. The choice depends on the disease, mm -hmm. and age, and morbid conditions. So as we can decide whether the patient requires one treatment or multiple, multiple treatments. Okay. We're talking about cells and all. I want to know where is the cells available? Like what are the sources of treatment? How is it available? Where is it available? 
Now, this is a nice question. Like people talk of treatments, definitely. When you talk of a treatment, it should be available somewhere. Yeah. And where to get that cells? Yeah, nice. Now, most important to make the things clear in your mind or people's mind is that cells are your personal body parts. When you talk autologous, mm -hmm. your own cells. And when the cells we use from other sources, like from the cord tissue or cord blood or a placenta or amniotic fluid, mm -hmm. then we call them allogenic. So these cells are not available in the shops. There are no shops which can deliver this kind of cells to you. Okay. This is the biggest, I mean, harder to understand what is the science. This science speaks that the best source of your cell is your own body. Okay. Like you can get from your own bone marrow, from your fat source, from your peripheral blood, from your dental pulp. These cells when you use for our own treatment, we call them as autologous cells. But since I told you it's a customized, personalized treatment, mm -hmm. treatment on you. The second source of treatments are allogenic sources, like sources which come to the cord tissue, cord blood, mm -hmm. placenta, or even the embryonic cells, or iPS cells, induced pluripotent cells, which recent come up for with the Nobel Award was declared last 2012 for Shinya Manika. Now, there are a number of sources of cells are there. These sources are also can be used for the treatment depending on the indications. So, there is a wide spectrum of application and wide spectrum of sources. But you should understand which cell is applicable for which treatment. Mm -hmm. They cannot be randomly select any cell and put any kind of treatment. So it's a customized personalized application. Mm -hmm. Depending on your knowledge, you can select those cells, mm -hmm. customize as per the requirement, and use for the treatment to specific organ, specific tissue, specific disease. The sources and both these are spectrum. Okay. Thank you so much, Doctor, for sharing such informative things with us. And I like the word you use, the living drug, which is very new for our audience and also for me. So I would like to thank you so much for coming on this channel. Stay healthy, live long with healthy gang.